Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my name is Noah. This is another video from Paramount Performance. I hope everyone is having a great day. Now today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to make one of your favorite childhood pizzas, the Mexican pizza, and we're going to make it just a little bit healthier today. So let's go ahead and grab our ingredients and get into it. All right guys, so now that we have all our all of our ingredients assembled, let's go over what we have or what we need for this recipe. Now, uh, you don't have to follow this recipe exactly. This is something that I'm just going off of my personal preferences, so it's a spin on Mexican pizza. Uh, what we're doing is we are keeping this recipe to under 500 calories. So what we've done is instead of using a, a, a traditional pizza crust, what we've elected to do is use an artisan pizza crust. Now this pizza crust right here is only gonna be 120 calories for the entire uh, pizza crust. Now we have uh, a mix of uh, orange bell peppers with uh, some uh, red onions and then one serrano pepper because I do like things to be a little bit spicier What we have here is a blend of Mozzarella and cheddar cheese now. This is fat-free cheese um, So it's two servings right here, and then we also have four ounces of ground beef now what I've done for this ground beef is uh, I bought uh, 90 10 so it's 90% lean 10% fat but what I did is I also strained it now uh, research is uh, research shows that straining beef does reduce the fat content so you can buy a um, a ground beef that's a little bit less expensive than going with something that's like a 95 or a 99 percent lean because that does get uh, expensive to buy something like that so if you take something like that's like an 80-20 or a 90-10 and strain the fat off of it, you can get a, a cheaper price per pound and still get the same leanness. So this was a 90-10 lean ground beef that I strained, so now it's uh, it's leaner than that. But uh, we also have uh, Ortega taco sauce here. And this is actually my favorite hot sauce, which is uh, Cholula hot sauce. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of fresh lime on top. All right guys, so what I have here is a pizza stone. It's not absolutely necessary to have, but it is going to help uh, crust up this pizza. It's gonna cook pretty fast. It, uh, you only need to do this at 375 minutes, or <laughs> 375 degrees for five minutes to pre-bake this, uh, this crust. And then after that, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna put our ingredients on and then we're gonna cook it just till the cheese is melted. All right, so now that we've actually pre-cooked the pizza, let's go ahead and assemble this, and when we're done, we can throw it back and just cook it until the cheese is melted. So we're gonna start out with our base of a little bit of Ortega sauce, and what we're gonna do, uh, just like a traditional pizza though, is we're not looking for a lot of sauce here, just like two tablespoons worth of sauce. So just a little bit for some nice flavoring. And, all right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on here. Now, again, this is our fat-free mix of cheddar and mozzarella. All right, now the ground beef that we're using I actually made my own blend of spices for this. I used uh, some red pepper flake, I used some cayenne and um, smoked paprika with a little bit of hot Mexican chili powder. So let's go ahead, get our beef on here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. All right, so let's um, let's add a little more cheese on top. Let's 
Let's get some of our peppers and onions here. And now we'll put on some of these serrano peppers, or one serrano pepper. And again, guys, don't uh, feel obligated to make this recipe exactly as I have. I've chosen these ingredients because it's what appeals to my, uh, my taste, my preferences the most. So if you don't want to use a serrano pepper, you don't have to. If you want to use a jalapeno or you want to use anything else, feel free to make this however you see fit. Again, uh, just see this as a little bit of inspiration to get creative in the, in the kitchen because dieting doesn't always have to be boring. So, um, let's uh, go ahead, now that we have this assembled, we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw it back in the oven and we're just gonna let it cook until the cheese is melted. All right guys, so the cheese is just starting to get nice and gooey, a uh, little melty here. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish it off with Cholula hot sauce and a little bit of lime juice. So we'll just hit it with a little bit of... Oh yeah, that looks, that looks good. All right, and now hit it with some fresh lime. guys so uh, there you have it there is my take on a healthier version of a Mexican pizza this is um, under 500 calories this is going to be uh, 55 protein here uh, I think around like uh, maybe 14 fat and uh, just over 30 carbs or so um, I will actually post the exact macros for this but guys this entire thing is less than 500 calories so if uh, if you like what you see go ahead like favorite share and subscribe and if there's something that you would like me to make in the future or you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see me make go ahead and let me know and I will go ahead and make that for you so guys thank you so much for being here go ahead try this out if you like it and let me know how it tastes all right guys I'll see you on the next one